Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, July 14th, and it is a bright, sunny, very hot day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And surprisingly, it's not raining, which is very odd. We've gotten an unbelievable amount of rain recently, and uh, the sump pump battles continue. I'll just leave it at that. You've, you guys have, who have been around for a while know that I've battled my sump pump over the, the last year, and uh, it's it's okay. It's okay, but I've got more work to do. I'll, I'll probably update you when the work actually happens. So, I hope you're all doing well today. Um, had a great morning so far. Got a little, got a few chores done, and spent some time out on the patio with uh, with a cigar and some coffee. And uh, yeah, just it's it's been a nice, relatively quiet Sunday. Uh, wife and I are going to be going out and doing our grocery shopping and that sort of stuff in a bit. But I wanted to take some time to uh, to chat with you all. This is. Um, Waybridge in uh, 7LE622. So, I've made a few I've made a few of these uh, Friday Roadway ram Ramble videos um, and that, that have been focused on the issue of YouTube demonetization and I've, I've talked that issue to death. I don't really have anything else to say about it, so don't worry. Um, but I do have uh, something that's come up that, that I want to address and I, and I want to expand on. So the comments to those videos, that a few people um, have, have made comments like, gee, I was just about to start making videos myself and now I don't know what I'm going to do. And I wanted to address that at two levels. I wanted to talk about the impact of demonetization on new YouTube presenters, but I also wanted to talk about um, what you, you know, get some some tips. You know, basically five uh, things to think about before you make your first YouTube video. And I encourage you all to make your first YouTube video. I've said before, the guys that just want to comment, you're a very valuable part of the community. I have some very good friendships that have developed with folks that are commenters and uh, and I love you guys so I'm not in any way saying if you don't make videos you're bad or anything like that but if you want to I want to give you some some advice and, and potentially some help uh, in, in going down that path so I'm going to give you five things to consider before you make your first YouTube video and before I do that at the end of this video, I'm going to make uh, an announcement that I think you'll be interested in. So try to stay tuned for the five, or jump to the end and skip the five. So it's on the point you. of monetization for, for a a, uh, a new presenter, don't even think about it. It, it just doesn't matter to you. Uh, you're not going to be able to monetize until you have, I think it's a thousand subscribers. And in all honesty, and I'm telling you this from my experience over this past year, it is such a minimal amount of money unless you've got many thousands of subscribers. And honestly, you're probably going to need much more than that to, you know, really consider it to be valuable. Uh, you know, I'm monetized and I'm currently, this is before the, uh, the demonetization thing hit, maybe making enough to buy a tin of tobacco every month. So it's nice. It's a nice addition. But... Guys, don't let the demonetization thing prevent you from getting started because you are many, many years away from even being able to consider that as a problem. Uh, it's not really the reason to make videos. And that gets me into these five things I want you to consider. Number one being, why do you want to make videos? And as I just said, if it's because you want to make money, don't do it. Uh, the way things are going, Everything's going to be demonetized uh, in our area. And it's probably going to be harder and harder even for the really big guys out there uh, that are, uh, you know, I, I can't think of any names right now, but, you know, the really big mega channels that have millions of subscribers, they're, they're complaining too, and it's going to get harder on them. So if you want to do this to make money, find some niche that you think is going to work out 
and focus all your time and attention on that niche market. Don't don't think that you're going to grow this into something that's going to be making you a lot of money because it's just not in the cards, guys. Um, other reasons you might want to consider making your first video. Well, maybe you want to get free tobacco. That yeah. you're going to. I mean, <laughs> we're all very generous and we share things, and that's great. But that's not a good reason. It, it, you know, and and I, I don't think many many of you guys are thinking of that. Uh, you you want to be the expert, and you want to you know tell everybody how they should be doing things and all that. That's terrible. You know, you, you're not the expert. I'm not the expert. You know I. I focus on pipe repair and restoration, and I've been doing that for a long time, um, long, long before YouTube. And I still defer to the knowledge that people here on YouTube have that uh, I'm just in awe of. You know, folks like uh, Bear Pipe, he he does amazing work, and it's a joy to watch him do that work. Uh, and there's others. I'm sorry, I, he's just the first one that came to mind. I don't mean to. To single him out to exclude other folks, but you're always going. There's always something you can learn. So you're not going to be the expert. So if that's your reason, don't don't pick up the camera. Um, if you're thinking of doing it to learn from others and to share what you know, on the other hand, that's an excellent reason, and that that will happen. There's a lot of knowledge in this community, and there's also a lot of opinion in this community and one of the things that I think is wonderful about the group is that they do tend to draw the line between those things. You know, most of the time if somebody says this tobacco, you know, if somebody has a tobacco they don't like, they don't say this is the worst thing ever. They, they say this isn't to my taste. Maybe you'd like it. And, and I appreciate that. I think that's that's the way we should be dealing with things, not not passing black and white judgments and expecting everybody else to fall in line. Um, and you've got something to teach us, almost inevitably. Um, you know, you've probably tried something that we haven't tried. You, you own a pipe that none of us have owned. Uh, you have a personal experience that, that we would like to hear about. So if you're looking to share yourself and, and to benefit from others sharing themselves, then it's a great reason to, to, to make that first video. And finally, if you're thinking about doing this to make some great friends, then by all means, uh, move on because but move on and, and make videos because that is exactly what's going to happen. I have made some fantastic friends through uh, YouTube, uh, friends that I that I meet in person, friends that I trade uh, tobaccos with, and birthday wishes, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, people that I and this is both commenters and video makers, by the way. Uh, I've got some very good friendships with folks that just comment, and, uh, and 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 it's great. So, if you're looking to make friends, this is this is friends that ha that share an interest with you. This is a great way to do it. So, second thing to consider: what are you going to talk about? Now, this is something that I think really stops a lot of people, and I've had several people including one guy that I've been trying to convince to make the leap for a couple of years now, and you know who you are, who say, well, I don't really have anything to talk about. Nobody's going to want to listen to me. Well, to be honest, it really doesn't matter what you talk about. It honestly doesn't matter. I've got a channel that's focused on a particular thing and when I first started I thought that I was just going to make these point of view pipe repair restoration type videos pipe maintenance that that sort of thing I just wanted to share that information and I did a lot of that but you know my first video was just my hands and my second video I got in front of the camera and talked a little bit and before I knew it this kind of chat thing was was becoming much more regular than what I thought I was going to be doing so don't worry too much about what you're going to do. It'll evolve over time. We enjoy these videos not because you're doing some particular thing and all that. We enjoy these videos because we like to talk to one another. And we live too far apart to get together at the local B&M. So we do it through video. And you've got something to say. You've got a story. You've got, you've got your, you know, how was your day? Uh, what, what's going on in your life? What, when you were growing up, this thing happened. Whatever. We, we don't care. 
it'll be fine. Uh, but the one thing I will suggest, and it just helps you, it's, it's not like this is some rule or something, but I find it very helpful to always have an opening line and a closing line. So if you watch my videos, I almost always say, hello, friends, welcome, and if I'm here, to the shop. Not because I think it's important that you have that for any, you know, real legalistic reason, but it just helps me start talking. I know what I'm going to say for at least that first minute. Um, and then when you come to the end of the video, sometimes it's really hard to know when to stop. So having a little phrase that you can just kind of wind down with, uh, you know, and I, I usually, I don't actually even remember what I usually say, but I will say it at the end of this. Um, oh, something about I look forward to talking to you all again. Uh, th these things are just little helpful uh, mental tricks for yourself that will allow you to begin and end the video. And what you put in the middle, that's up to you. All right, third thing to consider. What kind of camera and software and operating system and everything else should you have? Don't worry about it. Don't even think about it right now. I made my first video with a very old webcam that I actually don't even remember where it came from. It was in a box that I had to dig out and, and it was okay. You know, if I look at it today, it's it's horrible by, by my current standards, but it got out there. People commented on it. Nobody complained about the quality. Um, because we're not like that. We don't, we don't really care about the quality. We care about the message and the person. Now, in time, you're going to want to get a, uh, a nice camera, or you're going to want to use your cell phone camera in a better way, and I don't actually use cell phone cameras very much, so I don't know much about them, but uh, you're going to want to probably get some editing software, and there are plenty of free editing softwares that you can use, or you can just do it raw and just, you know, let, you know, do, uh, what is it called? I can't think of the, the term now for, for that sort of reality theater. Uh, it's a French term. Anyway, you can do that if you want. The, uh, theater, theater, theater Veritas, there we go. It's not French. So, yeah, just do that. You know, just record what you like, throw it up on YouTube. It's okay. People will watch it. Um... So don't worry about the software, don't worry about the cameras, don't get into that over time, but get yourself started. Number four, and I think this is a really important one. Actually, these, these are, I should have said at the beginning, these are in order of increasing importance, in my opinion. Number four, engage with the community. And I really think this is important. Actively comment on other people's videos. Let them know you're out there. You know, don't and don't advertise. Don't don't go and say, "Hey, I got a new channel" or something like that. If you want to do that, send the guy an email. You know, um, most most guys will have. Well, I shouldn't say most, but many guys will have their email address on their about page. Get in touch with them and say, "Hey, I'm just getting started out. I would really appreciate your help." Uh, everybody likes that, but you know, comment on the video. Just say, hey, "This was a great video. I really enjoyed that." I. Uh, I have that pipe too, you know, whatever. The reason to do this is, is twofold. It, it gets your name out there, you know, so people start to see you, and that's a good thing. But it also helps you build relationships, and, and I mean real relationships. I, I look forward to some of my commenters, you know, there, there are guys that have been commenting on every video that I post for years now, and I look forward to it, and if they don't, I, I kind of worry about them. You know, it's just, it's part of the, the community, and it's a good part of the community. Uh, give some shout-outs. It doesn't have to be a new guy. It doesn't have to be, it, it just, I saw this video, so-and-so did. It's a great video. Go check it out. It's worth doing that because it helps out your friend, but it also shows that you're, you're watching other videos, that you're engaged in the community. Do some spontaneous VRs. Not, not because somebody's having a contest, but because you saw a video that you're interested in, and you want to continue that conversation. This used to happen a lot more often, and I, I think it's unfortunate that I don't see it very much now. It's, it does happen, but not, not as much as it used to. Uh, you know, you watch one of my Roadway Ramble videos, and you agree or disagree, make your own video, and, and, and just put in the title VR2, and, and people will figure it out, and it will be, it'll be a conversation that we can have. 
And you can do that with anyone. And and I've had people do VRs that, are, that and it's very kind of them. You know, I, I enjoy a tobacco and I talk about it. And then they go and they, they add their thoughts to it. Um, or they try it because they saw me talk about it and they add their their impressions and all that. And that's, that's great, too. That, that's really wonderful. It builds community, and, and that's important. Um, and perhaps most importantly in this, this list of engaging with the community, answer the comments on your own channel. I try very hard to answer every comment. Sometimes all I can write is thanks for watching. So on some particular videos that, that are, you know, just hard to have a conversation about, like, and I'll just use this as an example, my recent uh, video about Danny Shore, I, I already said everything that I could say in that, and people were very kindly offering their, you know, condolences and their thoughts on them and all. So in those cases, I just give them a thumbs up and a heart and move on. But let the person know that you read what they wrote. It's very important. Um, and it, it, it's going to increase, uh, for lack of a better term, brand loyalty. You know, people are going to want to come back to your next video because you're a person. You're a real person. You're engaging with them. And that's what we want. We're not trying to become celebrities here. We're trying to build a community. All right, the, the last thing, and then this is going to be a relatively short one, but it's an, it's, it is the most important one, and it's two words. Be kind. We have a great community here. We, we, nobody, nobody argues with that, and we got kind, generous, helpful people that are all brought together by you know, this one simple thing. In a spirit of trying to make sure that everyone can experience the same enjoyment that they experience. So if you see something you don't agree with, think about why you don't agree with it. If you have a different perspective on it, make a video about your perspective. Don't tear the person down because of what they said. They're just trying to be helpful too. Nobody is trying to... Oh no, should have filled up before I came down. Nobody is trying to... Um, self-promote or, 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 you know, mislead people intentionally. So think about that before you, you hit the record button. And uh, we'll continue to, to build this community and we'll continue to, uh, to enjoy one another's company and build really excellent and valuable friendships. So I hope that was helpful. I hope some of you guys that are considering making a video will... Uh, We'll take that into account, and maybe some of you guys that are, have been making them for years will, will think about some of those points as well. Uh, but I'm very grateful for all that uh, the YTBC has, has done for me, uh, you know, supported me through hard times, uh, informed me, made me laugh. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for all that, and I hope that you guys can, can share in it as well. So... The announcement that I wanted to make, and this is this is a small thing, but it is uh, I'm excited about it. So I've, I've been thinking a lot about my my subscriber count's been going up, and I you know I'm reaching a milestone soon, and I thought eh, I should probably do something, but but I'm really not, you know I I think we've been over overloaded with contests and things like that, and I I just don't like the way they play out. It just seems I don't know. I I, I just I think there should be better ways to do things and. I decided that instead of doing like a subscriber count contest or something like that, I'm going to start just randomly sending out some things. Little packages, no, nothing nothing too exciting. Uh, they're going to vary in value, they're going to vary in quality, but you know, it's, it's going to be luck of the draw. I'm going to try to do this once a month. I'm going to randomly choose one of my videos each month. Um, and it is going to truly be random. I'm going to know before I make the video, or before I post the video, which one it is. And then I'm going to look through the comments. Um, I'm going to focus on comments that are from subscribers, because I want to thank my subscribers. So if you want to be on the list for this sort of thing, subscribe. And I'm just going to randomly choose, um, I'm going to try to randomly choose both a presenter and a commenter, you know, someone that, that doesn't make videos, so that I'm being fair about that. And, you know, it might just be a couple ounces of tobacco, it might be a tamper, I, I don't know. 
but I just want to thank you for for all the all the good stuff that you've done for me. And you know, just it's it's a small token. I'm probably going to mostly have to limit this to folks in the U.S. I apologize for that, but between the shipping costs and the issues with customs, that's really almost a necessity. But I might occasionally make a um, make an exception for that. Um, and I'm not looking for anything in return. If you make videos and you uh, want to do a, a video saying, hey, I got this thing, that's great. But but it's not, I'm not looking for that. I just want to be able to, to thank all of you guys. So I've held you long enough. I hope it was worth your time. And with that, I'm going to, to say goodbye. So until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.